तेरे इश्क की इंतहा चाहता हूँ मेरी सादगी देख में क्या चाहता हूँ मेरा जरा सा तो दिल है पर शौक इतना तेरा ही दीदार बार बार चाहता हूँ happy always and there not be any moment that she will ever have to come back to her parents saying that i needed abbas in a situation and he was not there and i will make sure she has my back always if there is anyone arshia that that will love you and they'll be your fan if everyone hate if everyone is against you for xyz reason you have one person by your side always and that will be me तू के बाहर तरसती है दिल ने पुकारा है हाँ अब तो चले आओ हुआ है तुझे जो भी जो भी मुझे भी इस बार हुआ तू क्यों ना मैं भी कह दू कह दू हुआ मुझे भी प्यार हुआ We hope you guys have enjoyed the dinner service. It was a pleasure serving you. We're now going to do a couple speeches. So, uh, if everyone could just uh, please take their seats and uh, quiet down. Please. Presence. As a mother, I can say that 
Arshia is a very special child and would stand out of the crowd on her own terms. She is always the topper throughout her school. Arshi is now a new person in your family. As a husband, you should support, comfort, respect and compliment her. Make her feel that you are made for each other. Never hurt her feelings. Understand her and her choices. I am reminded of the verse from the Quran that says, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَدَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لِقَوْمٍ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ And of the science is that He created you from yourselves, mates that you may find tranquility in them, and he placed between you affection and mercy. Indeed, in that are signs for a people who give thought. May Allah bless you too in the in this world and hereafter and welcome you to our very big family of us. Thank you. Welcome the sister of the bride, Shazia, to give a speech. <laughs> शुक्रिया अपनी किस्मत का करूं कि उस ऊपर वाले का कि तुम मेरी जिंदगी में हो अर्शी तुम्हारे बिना जिंदगी अधूरी सी है क्योंकि मेरा हर एक दिन तुम्हारे सुंदर चेहरे से शुरू और एनॉइंग वॉइस से खत्म होती है जब से मैंने अपनी आंखें खोली है दुनिया में तुम ही को पाया है आसपास तुम्हारा साथ एक आदत सी बन गई है नहीं भूलूंगी वो घड़ी वो पल वो वक्त जो बिताए हमने एक साथ क्या बोलूं कि तुम मेरी क्या हो यूं समझ लो कि खुदा रसूल अम्मी पप्पा और तुम ही जीने का मकसद और तुम ही मेरी दुआ हो मेरा साथ हमेशा तेरा तुम ही मेरी अर्शिया हो प्लीज टेक इन ऑफर अब्बास भैया वेलकम टू अ बिग फैमिली अब्बास भैया ने अल्लाह ब्लेस यू बोथ विद पीस बरकत एंड ब्लेसिंग्स इन हमारी लाइफ ने अल्लाह मेक यू बोथ फुलनेस ऑफ ईच अदर्स लाइफ्स आमीन Assalamu alaikum. How are you guys today? Hope you guys are having a, a wonderful evening. So, are you ready, Arshi? Okay. Acha, I have not had much time to prepare. I I haven't said everything I wanted to say, but I'm going to try and do my best. Okay. Ready. Okay. So my name is Azhar and uh, my parents tell me that Arshia is my first cousin. When we were young, Arshi was the bully and I was the victim of child abuse. I was her first punch, first sandbag and first kick. And now, as a result, I am now holding. And it's all due to her. So, when me and Arshi were growing up, as I said, she was the bully. She made me lose my hair and the other thing is, I'm still angry at her about something. And even after like 25 years, whatever many years it's been, I still haven't been able to say this to you. Why the hell did you break my toy box? <laughs> Why? Why? The one thing I remember about Arshi, which I still have not forgotten, is about my toy box. So now Abbas, the duty falls on you to repay the debt. I will be expecting a toy horse at your earliest convenience. Thank you. Jokes aside, um, as I mentioned, Arshi is my first cousin, but in reality, she's a sister to me. And, you know, that's how we've grown up. And, you know, I want to say some words, but I don't think I can because I'm a bit too emotional. So, I'm just going to say that she's my sister. She'll always be my sister. And, you know, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. And just, I just wanted to say some, you know, a few hadiths which, and a few Quran ayats which I really like and which I really like about marriage and help me as well with my marriage. 
So the first two hadiths which I uh, feel really sums up a marriage is the first one is the best of men are those who are best to their wives. And then the other hadith, which reflects this is, the best of wives are those who are obedient to their husband. So we can see the going sides on both sides. So the best of man is the one who is best to their wives, and the best of wives is the one who are best to their husband. So it's such an amazing thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us to gain reward and enter paradise. You both can become the root to Jannah. You can wake up and smile and you get sawab. You wake up and make someone chai, you get sawab. You wake up and you know just look at each other, treat each other nice. You don't have to do much. And those give you tremendous rewards. So it's very small things. It becomes the easiest path to Jannah. So I hope both of you take this advice and be the best to each other no matter what. And when anything happens, just remember that this is a sacred union by Allah not just a worldly thing. So always remember that keep Allah at the front of your relationship. And even if you guys are hurt or anything happens, remember that you're pleasing Allah first, not just your husband or wife. So always think about that. And remember this at least, that the best of those are those who are best to their wives and the best of those who are willing to their husbands and give best to each other. So be the best to each other and inshallah, may Allah make you both a path to enter paradise for each other. Ameen. And just the other quick Quran ayat that I wanted to talk about was uh, from Surah Baqarah, ayat 187. They, the women, are garments for you, and men, you are garments for them. So this ayat is, I think, a very complex ayat, and it has a lot of interpretation. So clothing is one that covers each other. I think this is the general interpretation. So this means you cover each other's faults, hide each other's faults, look after each other. Clothing provides protection shelter, warmth, it hides you from things. So you are each other's cover and shadow and you protect each other, keep each other warm. And I think it's a really beautiful ayat and you know, may Allah keep you both happy. I mean, okay, now coming to the end of the short speech, I'd like to just say something to Abbas Bhai. Uh, at first, I want to welcome you to our family. I welcome you to our family and I'm so happy that I now have another brother in my family. So the rest of the family, I hope we can make many memories like you know how we and Shia and all the other cousins made when we were kids. Inshallah. And I hope you know we form an amazing bond as well, inshallah soon. So Jazakallah khair everyone. Assalamu alaikum. चल लहराए हर रात यादों की बारात ले आए मैं सांस लेती हूँ तेरी खुशबू आती है एक महका महका